<laughs> Ladies and gents, once again, you are not tuned into your new favorite radio program. Broadcasting from 314 Main in downtown Houston, Texas at the legendary Natsua. You are now listening to Patty's Radio coming to you on HMS Net Radio via the Patty's Radio podcast and your new home of Patty's Radio, KPFT 90.1 FM. As always, I am your host with the most, the top cat, the man that's taking over urban, still kicking in Uranus. See how I said it? I said Uranus because I'm talking about the planet. I'm kicking in Venus, Jupiter, and Uranus. But not just that. Wait, there's more. Because not only are we bringing you some of today's most underrated, unheralded, and soon to be most talked about names of music, but I made sure to say we, because I'm not alone in studio this evening, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time here at the legendary Natsua, we're joined in studio by a special guest, or guestesses, because there's so many of them. They're a super group right here out of Houston, Texas, who you can check out right now at their Facebook, facebook.com slash brown velvet Houston. That's facebook.com slash brown velvet Houston. Since there's so many people, I'll let them introduce themselves to you. Brown Velvet, welcome to Patty's Radio. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 We're Brown Velvet. Velvet. Brown Velvet. Velvet. On our right. Yes, I am Guadalupe and I play the bass. My name is Matthew. I play the trombone and uh, backup vocals. I'm Gina. I play viola, backup vocals, mandolin, etc. <laughs> I'm Nata. I play the drums. Wilson, I play the guitar and I sing. We're here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Yes, Everybody thanks. on the interwebs and the uh, waves. The real Thank waves. you, internet. Thank you, people of the internet. <laughs> As you can see, they're a fun bunch and they're going to be joining us for the rest of the program. Brown Velvet has taken over the studio and we, we have taken over social media right now on Twitter and Instagram at Pattis Radio. That's at P-A-T-T-I-S Radio. Check out the homepage, pattisradio.tumblr.com. My name is E-Rev. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at E-A-Z-Y-E-R-E-V. We're broadcasting here at Natsua, located at 314 Main in downtown Houston, Texas. And speaking of Houston, we're in here joined by a special guest who you can check out right now on Facebook, facebook.com slash Brown Velvet Houston. All right, guys, so uh, I know you all are a cover band, but... There's so many of you. You all are so accepted because you all play different instruments. I want to know if you could just go around the group and let the Patty Chiefs listen to right now on HMS Net Radio via the Patty's Radio podcast and on KPFT 90.1 FM all around the world. Let them know a little bit about you and how you all came together to be Brown Velvet. Uh, uh, when I first came to Houston, somebody took me into this place that you couldn't get inside until somebody let you in the door. And it was very cool. And also, I heard a lot of this band's music in there that I rarely hear anywhere else in the world. And I really liked it. It's called The Velvet Underground. Um, and so it occurred to me that, you know, like, I was like this colored person alone in this after hours. Um, why, why am I alone? Uh, yeah. And so I thought, like, uh, I think I, think I want to form a cover band of that band to see if I'm not alone in liking this band and being colored. <laughs> um, and then, like, one year I met this girl who I heard just started playing the drums. <laughs> and I was playing with this other guy in a thing called, you know, uh, Wild Cards Let's Create Orchestra. Yes. And, and um, I thought I had everything I needed to, to begin. Wilson said his dream was to start a Velvet Underground cover band, and we talked about doing it, and he looked at me and he was like, all you need to do is be able to keep a beat. And I was like, <laughs> I think I could try to do that. Yeah, and um, yeah, we had played, like, uh, this is what I looked at, by the way. Uh, but yeah, we had we had played me and Wilson in a band before, I was just talking about, and uh, yeah, uh, just, that was a very interesting band with a lot of very cool people. And I guess, you know, it took a break from that for a bit after it, that happened and then this came around. Um, 
I was told by Nata, you know, I think by you. Because uh, we played another project together. Yeah, yeah, we were oh, and Nata, yeah. And then, you know, you know, talking about there was a, uh, you know, a Velvet Underground cover band. And I was like, I like that band. So, uh, <laughs> you know, played the bass. Uh, you know, I've been playing bass lately, so, you know, I enlisted my duties as a bass player for the band, and that's how I came upon this whole thing. We've been playing for a little while now, and then... It's really good to play with Lupe, too, because he's, like, real nerdy. He, like, plays the song, he's like, no, man, there's a part that we're missing. You have to, like, you have to do this. There's, like, this thing. <laughs> this is absolutely not how I do it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we have new members in our family, too, though. Um, I have a, I've had the pleasure of having a trombone player in the sound, which, um, I don't know, it's not in the original sound, but I think uh, they should have thought of it. <laughs> uh, and his name's Matt. And then there is now a viola player as well. It's awesome. Um, and John Cale from the original band. Pretty amazing sound. And we got the girl to try and recreate it. Her name's Gina. Uh, you guys talk about how you met us. All right, Gina and Matt, go ahead and tell the Pattis peeps how you all brought your sounds together. Um, let's see, I was just hanging out in the park one day and uh, my friend came and then we came over here to Natsuo and just hung out with the band for a while and then next time I came they were practicing. Brought my horn along and uh, just started jamming. I, I played horn in elementary school and middle school and uh, so it's really nice to play the trombone again and be with a group of awesome people practicing. Yes. And uh, I ended up uh, becoming good friends with one of the bartenders at Natsuo and we had talked and found out that she played music in this interesting project that was sort of this mishmash of a bunch of different styles and uh, you know it came up that I play viola and she said oh you know, you should you should get involved with our project. And so I played uh, with Wilson briefly in another project, and uh, eventually he ended up ended up inviting me into the uh, Velvet Underground project. And you know, I, I it's it's just another uh, project to explore a new bunch, of, learn a bunch of new things. So yeah, it was just sort of serendipitous and like. You know, hey, we need a viola player for this particular pl project, so it worked out. We're assuming the public knows about the Velvet Underground. Well, ideally, <laughs> yeah. maybe, probably. Well, if they're listening to this program, I surely hope they do. But if not, they can just go Google. We should do a, like a barbershop quartet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just on the spot. Who's the Velvet Underground? Yeah. Everyone say it right now at the same time. The the <laughs> we are the Sonic Youth of the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> we're gods before gods were invented. With All right, ladies and gentlemen, while they're singing in the background, we'll be back with Brown Velvet in a minute. You're going to hear exclusive tracks from the band, plus they're going to give you your Pattis Top 5. Still here joined by a special guest on this 17th edition of your new favorite radio program, Pattis Radio, with a band right here out of H-Town, Houston, Texas, who you can also check out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Brown Velvet Houston. We got your Pat is Top 5 coming up in a minute. But before we get back to Brown Velvet, let me make sure I remind you that you can check out this podcast anytime at our podcast site, paddysradio.podomatic.com. And for all updates on everything being done on this program, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at P-A-T-T-I-A-S Radio or check out the homepage, paddysradio.tumblr.com. My name is E-Rev, and I want to ask Brown Velvet, just all the members, Though you all are known as a cover band, how did you all come together to put your sounds together? Because there are a lot of different instruments and things that are unique to the actual Velvet Underground. So how did this whole process work to put all your sounds together and make something completely unique to a cover band? How did, how did you all make that work? Who wants to try to tackle that question? Anybody? Wait, how do we sound? <laughs> oh, wait, I, I'm going to let... sound like the Velvet Underground? I am going to let the new people tell no. us how we sound because, like... I'm sure it's fresh to them. Uh, Gina and Matt. <laughs> this is like Matt, a quiz show. Uh, how do we sound? Uh, well, I play the trombone, so I just kind of drone a little bit. And uh, some of the songs I don't really go go well with, 
This is the part where Matt cries because he feels like. I cried already, Eric. Save that for Oprah. Well, well, with that, let me ask you, Matt. You said you play trombone. Did you have any like background that you play as a younger child? How did that like translate into being in a cover band? Like, how did you put your musical assets to work in this group? Yeah, I play. I played in elementary school. I saw his elementary band perform once. <laughs> and then there's this there's dragon. Really girl Let Matt have the floor, too. ladies. Oh, oh no, God. that's Jesus. Oh, yes. oh. Uh, oh God. He's already on the you're floor. Sound, uh, you're sound. So I, I mostly, I, I grew up playing classical music, and uh, you know, on my own, I just kind of improvised and did whatever, and. Uh, you know, I've always had a lot of respect for the Velvet Underground, just in terms of how they do what they do, and I, uh, I, it's been really fun to have a template to improvise within, but still, I'm still following a certain chord structure and everything, so it's, it's, it's structured chaos. It's great. I love it. I Chaos. Love it. This is not a the drummer. That was Gina. Sorry, this is unrelated. And now this is not a the drummer. I just thought about how when we started, um, it was me, Luke Bay, and Wilson, and we had just kind of started learning the songs and playing, and Lou Reed died. Mm. And it was really <laughs> intense. I mean, we drank a lot of whiskey that night. Rest in peace, Lou Reed. Really know. We had yeah. practice, and it was like, uh, what do we do? Um, but if uh, it's been actually really instructional in teaching, I know me how to play drums, practicing, learning specific songs, but also songs that have a really steady rhythm and are really conducive to jamming. Um, I really love the Velvet Underground also. But yeah, it's been it's been really fun. Also, I do think that people that I can name at least ten people that have been like. You drum for a Velvet Underground band? Like, Mo Tucker is like the worst drummer ever. <laughs> Mo Tucker is the Velvet Underground drummer. She's a girl drummer. Which it's is a awesome. sexist Woo! statement made Bob by Lee. little boys who play drums. That's who what that is. They're calling you out with your webs. Yeah. Bring it. Boys playing drums. Yeah, no girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is disorganized, but you know, we play music, so screw organization. Right. right? A lot of music, music is sort of organization. It is, Lupe's music it is organized. It itself to, out. It does. Yeah. You so, communicate without words. Uh -huh. So with the organization, like you said, let me ask you a question. So with that, besides playing Velvet Underground music, doing original projects, how do you all like agree on a certain sound or how do y'all find like a certain path that y'all want to take? Like how, how is that possible? We don't. <laughs> we do the worst thing you're supposed to do, which is be democratic. Yeah. That's or, how, that's why we sound the way we sound. Or, you know, I guess we try to uh, make the... Uh, we want to, I guess, sort of be a little faithful to the song, you know, but at the same time, um, I guess this is just a personal viewpoint, but at the same time, you know, you want to... Uh, you know, do your own thing with the song because, like, once you learn these songs, uh, I kind of feel that you can do whatever you want with them. You know, once you got the structure down, then you're like, okay, I can play this inside and out. So now let's get crazy with it. That's definitely true. At the beginning, whenever we're first learning a song, it's like, Ugh, we suck um, because we we try to learn it to the T. Uh, but after we do get really familiar with it, there's so much freedom in just being able to play something that is known for sure. There's a lot of space to try really funky There's a lot of flexibility to, to work within a chord structure and sort of see what we can come up with, see how we can uh, not necessarily deviate, but expand on certain motifs. Obviously, we have no guidance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we sound like the way we sound. <laughs> Mes messy, also that. big, runaway train. And just like a runaway train, you're about to get run over by new music. Ready? Coming to you from the group joining me in studio here at Natsu, located at 314 Main. This is Wilson, Guadalupe, Nata, Gina, and Matthew, collectively known as Brown Velvet. And since there's so many of them, I'm gonna let them do all the heavy lifting. So Brown Velvet, let the Paddis people know what they're about to hear. Foggy. No. <laughs> this is Brown Velvet, and we're gonna play for you Foggy Notion. On like, Patty's Radio. Patty's Radio. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, worldwide, coming to you on HMS Net Radio via the Patty's Radio podcast. 
and right here on KPFT 90.1 FM. This is Brown Velvet with Foggy Notion right here on Patty's Radio. I got a 
Right here on the 17th edition of your new favorite radio program, Patters Radio. With me, your boy E-Rev, a.k.a. Easy Money. And I'm in here joined by our special guest. Right here out of this H and other various places around the globe. They go by the name of Brown Velvet, who you can check out online right now on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Brown Velvet Houston. We heard their exclusive track, Foggy Notion, a second ago. We're about to get into this exclusive Patterns Top 5 from our special guest, Brown Velvet. This is what I always would say. I would tell you, if you got a problem with it, tweet at them. But Brown Velvet's out on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. So if you got a problem, go poke him or kick him or whatever the hell you do on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Brown Velvet Houston. So right now, here's Matthew, Wilson, Jita, Nata, and Guadalupe. We got five band members. We got five topics. This is your Patterns Top 5. Our favorite five local bands. Lupe. Um, I like to get uh, the, the half pizza from Flakey's. That's like <laughs> no more no. than five bucks. That's my favorite band. <laughs> ah, the Flakey. What kind of music band. is that, Lupe? It's, 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 late night, it's late night music, and you know, <laughs> if you want meat on it, it's cool, but you know, you might get heartburn if you're lactose intolerant. But like, yeah, if you put mushrooms pizza. in it, it's really good. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I picked just one. I like Jose, free hugs and good times. Whoa, Jose! I really, right now, I'm super loving Devil Killing Moss a bunch. Falcon, this is Kerr. F C K E R F L C O N. Falcon, Kerr. Gio Chamba has some sick dance moves. Yeah, Gio Chamba's pretty awesome. I heard this band, the Rosettes, the other day. That was pretty good. I don't know. There's just so many bands. I'm just gonna. I'm just, five I'm just gonna five. name like you know, <laughs> cool, people, you. cool musicians. Okay, Dennis Cisneros is an awesome. Uh, days of Days of Days, days, of days, days is days. awesome. Just like Gabriel. Awesome. Days days. Awesome. The trombone player on Luke Main Lucas. and Preston. Iguaninos. Yeah. Homeless. Iguaninos. Lucas is downstairs right now, killing it as he yeah. can see. That would be real. What? Asterisk. Yeah. Just blew up your yeah, list. What? Tip that guy on the corner. I That's like the same yeah, thing. Right. Give this band a map. Yeah, <laughs> I like them too. Complete freedom, liberation, yeah. you know, pizza. Food. Yeah. And there you have it. What is sure to be one of the most talked about Tata's top fives in history. Mainly because it was not on topic at all. What an earth shattering, groundbreaking Patterns Top 5. We had pizza. Pizza, ladies and gentlemen, break the Patterns Top 5 for the first time ever. That was your Patterns Top 5 brought to you by Brown Velvet. And like I always say, ladies and gentlemen, if you got a problem with the list, don't tweet at me. Tweet at them. Or in this case, you know, poke them or do whatever on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Brown Velvet Houston. We're in the middle of an action-packed edition of this program already. Don't forget, you can hear this show anytime at our podcast site. 
Paddy's Radio. Podomatic.com. That's Paddy's Radio. P O D M A T I C. dot com. And say hello to Denver. Welcome back to our new favorite radio podcast. This is Paddy's Radio coming to you on HMS Net Radio via the Paddy's Radio podcast in the new home of Paddy's Radio, KPFT ninety point one FM. My name is e of a.k.a. Easy Money, and those melodic tones you hear in the background are coming to you from Brown Velvet, but you can check out on Facebook right now, facebook.com slash Brown Velvet Houston. We got your last song in the evening coming up next, but once they're done singing, Brown Velvet's going to tell you what's happening with them in the new year and the future. Brown Velvet, you want to tackle that or you just want to continue singing? So the city of Houston, we will be playing the first Velvet Underground album in its entirety in sequence. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow. Psych. Hi, uh, this is Wilson. I'm the I'm the singer guitar player. Hi, Wilson. I'm gonna Hi, fit. Wilson. I'm gonna fit in my bikini. <laughs> there you go. Um, this is Nata. I'm the drummer, and Mo Tucker, the drummer for Velvet Underground, she joined the Tea Party. <laughs> I'm going to. Learn to teach people yoga, maybe. maybe. Hey, <laughs> it's Gina. I play viola and whatever else is needed. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on trucking. <laughs> <laughs> My true. name is Matthew. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, sadly, I may not be with the band for that much. Jesus, Matthew, oh, no. not sad, not sad. Because, it's not sad, you're right. Because I'm Progress. stepping into my Zen practice more deeply. Hi. Um, Hi, this is Guadalupe. He, he's in Zen right now. Um, for the next year, I don't know. I I normally take it day by day, so think about next year is kind of cool. So hopefully I'll be around. And Lupe's gonna be, be my friend fine. for the next year. Yeah, yeah, at least that. Yeah. We'll be friends. Yes. <laughs> Hey, 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 we can all be friends, especially you listening right now. You should go like them on Facebook, facebook.com slash Brown Velvet Houston. Tell your friends to get with my friends. We can be friends. We can do this every weekend. That was Puff Daddy. Go ahead. Be their friend. Give us money. Give them money. If you see them on the street, just throw change and money at them. <laughs> just do whatever you can to support this band right here on this age. Free hugs, everybody. It's love day out here on the court. I want to thank Brown Velvet for joining me in studio for the first time ever. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been my pleasure to bring you Brown Velvet. Give yourselves a hand. Ow. Bye, bye-bye. What's up? Bye. 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 Bye.